right, just still in line, waiting for my um, the next person. I turned my car on and off three times, so it's gonna be worth it when I um, get this oil change. Cause I don't. The thing is, it's things on this channel I don't really want to talk about, cause it's I believe in bad luck. Yeah, some very superstitious. Having OCD, it makes you very superstitious. But um, there's a reason why. Um, this car, I'm just going to say, it's the reason why this car is still good. I don't even want to talk about that. That's how bad it is. That's how bad my superstition is. But, um, I guess you could, you can go back a little bit into, um, like 2006, 2007, 8, and how it began to cultivate, like, all the OCD, the, um, the bad thoughts in my head, because people think that, um, one of my subscribers was watching this video of me um, playing a mystical song and I was saying this is how people OCD listen to music now you won't understand it if you don't have it yourself so sometimes I don't do this but sometimes you can listen to the same song for hours and hours and it can be that particular part of that song like a certain minute um, frame of that song that you'll just play repeatedly for hours and hours and that may that may consume your whole day but i don't let that i don't i, I try not to really engage in things like that but um just in line like all my all my um all my that bell is so annoying all my traits begin to form with my dad stressing me out i told you that um I wasn't really washing my hands a lot. That comes a lot later. It was really just making sure my room was clean. There was no trash on the floor. All my like stuff in my dresser had to be straight. Anything on top of the dresser had to be straight, and all dust had to be had to be cleaned off. But I, I did eat with my hands, and I used to eat meat back then. So that's probably why I used to get sick sometimes. Um. In 2008, the ending of that year was pretty crazy. So we had a black president. Our city won the first, or well, won the won a, a World Series in a long time, 28 years. Um, what else? We were. Oh yeah, the big thing of that year was TVs were transitioning to HD. So they were saying how um, you better get a TV that was like a certain brand of a TV before this time frame, because in 2009 they're not going to um, you're not going to be able to watch a TV with a um, a regular uh, like a non HD TV because our our big like widescreen box television it wasn't like a box TV like a Zenith or a Sanyo but it was a box TV where. Um, there was no USB cord you could you can plug up to it. So that one, from our usage of our video games, they said that that's what wore down our, our TV. See, TVs today are about $100, $400 at most. That's not a lot when you work. But as a kid, that's a lot of money. Um, For Christmas, we got these two games. We got a game called Scarface, The World Is Yours. That my brother played a lot and we had um i think that was the only game we got that year because we did get madden 09 that's the last Madden game we, we, we played together um my brother's favorite team was the cowboys and i was a fan of the jaguars i got a jaguars jersey and a cowboy and my brother got a cowboy jersey from our dad for christmas we didn't get, we didn't bother getting the new um, WWE game, WWE um, SmackDown vs. Raw 09, because we weren't really watching wrestling a lot at all, if any. Because around this time, TV shows that I liked were like, um, I'm trying to think of a few. Because I'm, I'm transitioning to like reality TV now, 13. CSI. Sometimes Raw, iCarly, Drake and Josh reruns. They stopped showing Zoe 101.
because her pregnancy, it was a bad image for Nickelodeon. But I didn't have a crush on her at the time. My crush was Dakota Fanning. Not the, let me, let me say this again, not her her younger, youthful appearance, where she looked like a, a fucking 10 year old and hound dog, more like hunt, more like this Dakota Fanning of Secret Life of Bees. Cause like I said, she was more developed. She was around my age and she had some nice legs to look at. Cause I don't know what it was, maybe cause the household I grew up in, but I began I began looking at a lot of movies that dealt with like child abuse, like mostly, mostly um, white girls in like abusive households. So I watched this movie called, um, cause I was watching a lot of movies where the theme was a single parent in a home where they would like leave the child. Like this movie, um, so it was a movie. I, I I speak a little French. With my injury, I don't I don't really um, I remember some things, but if I hear it, I can understand it to some extent. From um, listening to this movie, I saw at this at around 08 called Aurora. It was a movie based in Canada about a true story of a a ten year old girl who was beaten and abused by her her stepmother and her father, similar to me. They, they they beat her so badly they killed her. She died of her injuries. And it was certain scenes in there that I, I just watched for some reason. Because also around this time, um, I think I liked one of the actors from there. It was a girl, um, Sarah Joan Labrus. She was a um she was an actor who played the um, one of the sisters. Cause um the two actors in that movie, it was Marianne Forti, Sarah, Sarah Joan Labus, and that's only two actors that I knew because they were around my age. I did like um I did like Marianne Forti a little bit. That's a I don't I don't know what she was doing today, but I had a little crush on her. And I had a little small crush on um on Sarah Joan La, uh, Labus. I liked her a little bit. Anyway, um like I said, I'm. You hear that song? That's Long Jock. 